absolutely i think uh, first of all it is it is it is absolutely fantastic to receive an award like this from from an organization of this repute uh, it's of course a, a very pleasant feeling of being recognized uh, you know so so absolutely my pleasure to be on this forum uh, as well as uh, or receiving a recognition so thank you so much i'm deeply uh, you know deeply feel um, you know uh, appreciated that okay you know something is 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 happening to recognize the good efforts also so thanks for that Yeah, I think uh, you know. Needless to mention, I think we we already know that you know the CFOs and CEOs both go hands in hand. Of course, uh, in the whole growth journey, CEO takes a you know a bit kind of a front role to take the organization to the next level. But I think in the in that in that effort of doing so, there are certain costs that CEO has to take. And sometimes, because of his whole uh, objective, sometimes the pitfalls of those uh, calls need to be alerted in advance. And the best person to 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 do that is as a CFO, because you know every action has a reaction, and every action has an implication on uh, ultimately onto the financial statements of the company. So I think CFO plays a very very tactful role here to kind of keep a, or playing a kind of a right hand man to the CEO. to to keep on telling him that what are the implications of this decision and then he should be aware of what we are taking and then it is a collective becomes like a collective decision and frankly speaking not only the cfo but the all the you know function lead chro cto chief of operations i think everybody have to work hands on hands uh, as a key advisor to the ceo so that it becomes like a decision with everybody minds and uh, that becomes super crucial for any decision to be to be proven right at the end of the day no i think that i think that's one of the fantastic step that has been taken you know uh, when we all uh, travel abroad the one of the fundamental differences that we see uh, apart from other things is basically an infrastructure also in india we know apart from if you if you for a moment if you take a side view of the metro cities i think the infrastructure need in the rural area is too much and i think building something uh, you know something the on the infrastructure ground is absolutely a need of the hour uh raising the whole capital expenditure to by about 30% as against 25% i guess last year is, is a super fantastic step and i think this is going to uh, you know right infrastructure boost the business uh, too much because you know you save time uh, it has natural uh, you know advantages you save time you save fuel you save efficiency and the business can grow much faster so uh, so i think uh, this is a fantastic welcome stage not only in a welcome step not only in a medium term but also in a very long run i think it is going to play a very very uh, robust role of course one uh, needless to mention i think this has already been taken care or will be taken care uh, not only allocation of the funds but also the execution of the plans that plays a very important role and i i, I have no doubts in uh, that the that the plans will be will be done as per the plans and uh, and and i think it is going to play a significant role yeah mr shah 2023 seems to be carrying some of the pain points over started transpiring in 2022 in terms of high inflation and subsequent monetary tightening that we have seen uh, growth moderating a bit as finance uh, leaders what would be your strategy in navigating uh, the fiscal year and what would be the strategy from your company's perspective as well i think uh, you know we are uh, we are very growth oriented organization we are uh, uh, we are a tech organization who are presence in almost about 15 countries with with almost 6000 people uh, you know half a billion dollar revenue so we are uh, we are into a very very uh, you know interesting phase as now yeah, after post covid of course there are certain challenges for the tech companies but uh, i think not only for tech companies like us but also for every other industry it's becoming absolutely critical to be aligned with the latest technologies uh, latest you know changes that are happening because the changes that are happening are very uncertain they were never been even thought through that these kind of changes can come you know we are talking uh, tools like chat gpt which is which is which is seems to be uh, you know in a long run replacing google even and you can create a, a lot of artificial robots and uh, you know, like humans who can talk right and can can give you answers you know real time basis 
so the point is that uh, you know uh, not the finance organization also are now compelled to become a little bit of a tech organization so we need to be you know technology uh, technology savvy and we need to be uh, more focused on what is going to happen as a, as a finance leader i think everyone carry that responsibility of looking in the future of course while all other responsibility like traditional responsibility of keeping a control of finances of the company is definitely there but at the same time i think being a visionary is also now the need of the hour you mentioned uh, rightly you know the answer that was supposed to be my next question but still if i would like to ask you one word that one single biggest quality that you would advise uh, to future finance leaders to navigate in such unforeseen uh, challenges so one quality and one action i would say one definitely being proactive when you say being proactive be very very proactive not only for your organization be very proactive in terms of what is happening globally be it economical challenges in your customer regions be it political challenges in your customer region what are the challenges even at the customer level what is happening there what is ha- what are the disrupting technologies that are coming which can disrupt your own platforms uh, so those are the things that somebody need to be very very careful and second but i mean second but not the last is of course building a very very talented team i think if you if you have created a team which is better than you that that should be the focus then i think in the tougher times that becomes your savior so i think uh, these are the two actions which every every finance leader have to keep it in mind nowadays these used to be the ceo responsibilities but i think now it become very important for cfos also to build a team who doesn't only think about numbers who doesn't only thinks about you know hardcore finance matters but also thinks about business also thinks about you know actions or results of the actions that they are going to take more like a problem solver if they don't appear like a problem solver i think that is not a long run game thank you so much for your time thank you so much thanks again